everybody. Good afternoon or morning, maybe morning where you are. <laughs> um, glad to see you here again. Um, today I'm making some salad dressings um, because it's always an issue for folks that start eating whole foods, plant-based. It's recommended to avoid oil. Oil is a very highly processed food with very little nutritional value, just just calories. So we try to avoid oil. Um, but what do you put on your salad? I mean, that that's important because we eat a lot of salad, don't we? Um, so what I'm making today are some salad dressings that have no oil. I'm not saying they have no fat because they do have um, uh, ingredients that have fat like nuts and tofu and uh, avocado, but they don't have oil. So um, that makes them great for the kind of the way that plant based people eat. So I'm going to start. Actually, let me just first mention all of these recipes are on my website, everydayplantbased.com. And um, I'm going to pretty much follow those recipes today. As I taste them, I might tweak it a little bit, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to start with making um, an avocado herb dressing. Um, see the ingredients. I've already prepared much of them, so it's going to come together really quickly. It has um, red onion, about a fourth of an onion. It has chives, about a fourth of a cup. Um, I just want to mention that chives are the easiest things to grow. Um, even I don't have a green thumb, but even I can grow chives, and they come back every year. <laughs> it makes them really awesome. You can just stick them in the ground, and you'll always have chives. So we're going to add about a quarter cup of chives. We've got um, two green onions that chop, chopped up. Uh, we've got a clove of dark garlic, which I cut up. I'm going to make this particular dressing in my um, small food processor. This is a workhorse food processor I've had for many years. I'm going to see how this avocado looks. Um, with avocado, of course, when you buy them, they're hard, and then they ripen, start to get soft, and they, uh, this one looks great. Um, they get start to get soft, and then they turn brown very quickly. But when they start to get a little bit soft, I put them in my refrigerator, and then they keep a long time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the avocado in the food processor. So this recipe is a little onion heavy with these three kinds of onions and the garlic. Um, but the avocado is going to temper that as will the lemon juice. Okay, there's our avocado. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of these things. So, um, that was green onion. Red onion, chives, which are, of course, an onion, and garlic, which is, again, part of the same family. Um, we're also going to add some basil leaves. I have a basil plant growing right here. Let me just pick off some leaves. I'm going to take five leaves, big ones. I love basil. Who doesn't love basil? One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then I need the juice of half a lemon. I'll use my citrus squeezer here. This will also keep the avocado from turning dark. Avocado needs to be mixed with some kind of acid or it dies and turns dark brown. It still tastes fine. It's just not that appealing to look at. Okay, so let's, let's blend this up and see what it looks like. But more importantly, see what it tastes like. Always put that one backwards. There we go. Is 
it's starting to get nice and creamy. The only thing is I do want to scrape it down a little bit because some of these bits are not down near the blade. This is almost like a guacamole. It's a little bit wetter than a guacamole. If you like a kind of runnier dressing, you can add a bit of water. <laughs> Okay, nice. So the food processor doesn't puree things like a blender would. So it's still got tiny little chunks in here, little tiny bits of, um, of onion. I can see little bits of green onion and red onion, and that's fine with me. If you want it completely, completely pureed, you need to use, use something like a blender, like maybe a little Nutribullet. We'll use one of those later. I'm going to put some of this, actually made a little salad. <laughs> I thought I would test it out on the salad. So I'm going to take a spoonful, put it on the salad, and then we'll see what this tastes like. My salad is simple. It's just some lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and carrot. All right, let's see. See if I can paste all that onion. So I do taste onion, but it's not a sharp taste. It's not like, oh, onion, not like you're eating a lot of raw onion. These onions that went in this salad were all mild. So I feel like I just want to stand here and eat salad. But I'm going to stop because I still have some more dressing to make. Since I'm going to be using this again, I'm going to put it in a little jar. So this might take a minute, but I do need to use this food processor again for another dressing. So we got to get it rinsed out. You know, eating plant-based also, one thing that's really wonderful about it is since you're not using oil, the dishes are so much easier to clean. I don't know if other people have found that. Um, you know, you don't have all that grease, that fat. You don't have things that are, you know, burned grease. Um, so sometimes you can get by, you know, just with kind of rinsing things off because they're plants are mostly water. So we're mostly just using water with some fiber. Okay, there's my avocado herb dressing. I can't wait to have some of that. I'm just going to rinse this out real quick. Okay, we'll use that. Um, we'll use this little blender later. Or maybe I want to use it now. I'm trying to think. I think I'll use it now because the next thing I want to make is um, an agave mustard dressing. I gotta finish cleaning my processor here. So the agave mustard dressing is like a honey mustard. It's the tang and the the mustardy flavor and then the sweetness of agave. You could also use maple syrup. Um, this one for its sort of fat and thickening ingredient um, uses a soft tofu, silken tofu. So um, actually it's such a simple recipe. Um, so easy to put together. So we've got about a third of a cup of silken tofu. I don't think this would work so well with firm or extra firm tofu. Um, they don't get as creamy, whereas silken tofu is perfect perfect for salad dressings. Then we also have um, a quarter cup 
of agave, which is a sweetener. I could have used maple syrup, but I'm almost down to maple syrup. So we're using agave. And um, use mustard, a third of a cup of stone ground mustard. That's sort of like a gray poupon type mustard, Dijon type mustard. Uh, we're throwing that in there. And then the only other things we will put in here is maybe um, a little bit of salt and pepper. A couple grinds of pepper, a couple grinds of salt. And blend them up. Okay. I'm interested to see what this tastes like. Mmm. Wow. That is good. It's it's quite mustardy. <laughs> it's definitely you have to like mustard. Um, trying to think if I would add anything to it. I might add um, I might add some lemon juice. I know the recipe doesn't say that, but I'm just feeling like the mustard taste is a bit overwhelming. And my lemon juice was sitting in some chives, so I accidentally got some chives in here, which is not the end of the world. Okay. All right, let's see. Hmm, I think that makes a difference. Now it's got a faint lemony flavor to it. So that's our, our you know, honey mustard sauce. Um, Dressing it's an agave mustard dressing. I'm just going to leave this in here now for now because I don't need to use this food processor right away Because for the next one I'm going to use the Nutribullet It's a little more high powered than the food processor um, So I think it'll really completely pulverize the ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to make with it is uh, strawberry vinaigrette. Again, it's a really simple recipe. It's strawberries, red wine vinegar, agave syrup, and a little black pepper. Um, the recipe calls for eight strawberries. I'm just going to make half a batch today. So four strawberries put up. Calls for two tablespoons red wine vinegar. This is one because I'm making half a recipe. And um, agave syrup, quarter cup. So this is an eighth of a cup. I'm going to get every drop of that in there. So a vinaigrette is typically just oil and vinegar and seasonings. And we don't use the oil. But we're going to add... Um, Add character to this with the strawberries. Okay. Just going to blend this up. This won't take very long. Okay what this tastes like. I'm going to go ahead. I forgot to put the mustard one on a salad. So I'm going to put this on a little salad. Mmm, the strawberries. Mmm, I can smell them. I drizzled some on my second salad. Believe me, when this is over, I'm going to finish up all these salads. Okay. Hey, Belize. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. 
um, yeah, that avocado herb dressing, I would definitely recommend that. All right, let's see what this tastes like. It's um, the strawberry vinaigrette. Mmm. I really like it. Um, watch me just continue to eat. I'm going to stop. The strawberry flavor is is very prevalent here, but it's not sweet. Even though we added two tablespoons of agave, it is not a sweet dressing. But I think that they just, the sweetness uh, just offsets the vinegar a little bit. So what we have here is a, it's just really, really nice. I like it. Bottle it and sell it. I'm going to pour some of that out because I need to use I need to use this Nutribullet again. So I'm just going to put this one into another a little jar. I love this Nutribullet. I just got it recently, and this is why I like it. Is you can just pour out of it. My blender, um, wonderful blender, which is great for bigger quantities. It's uh, a Vitamix, but it has that blade in the bottom, and and when you the ingredients tend to stay in the bottom, it's sometimes hard to get everything out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can just get a little more out of this blade before I rinse it off. All right, awesome. I'm going to be set for salad dressings for a while. I'm going to rinse my Nutribullet, and I'm going to use it one more time. See, all I had to do was rinse it out. Clean so easily. Okay, the last dressing we're going to make. This is a pretty well-known dressing. It's um, Dr. Joel Furman's Walnut Vinaigrette. Um, it's it's very popular. Uh, it's a little unusual, um, but people do really love it. And I'm going to make it in the Nutribullet because it's got some ingredients that need a little more chopping power. Um, so the ingredients are raisins and walnuts. So right now it's starting to sound like cookies, isn't it? It's got some um, balsamic vinaigrette. Again, another little bit of mustard, some garlic, and some thyme. So let's put all of this into our Nutribullet. So um, quarter cup of walnuts, quarter cup of raisins, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, a clove of garlic, which I already chopped up. Um, we want a quarter teaspoon of thyme. And what else? A teaspoon of mustard. Somewhere around here I have a teaspoon measure. I know I got one out. I am going to use my quarter teaspoon measure and kind of eyeball it. Two of those. A little bit of mustard. And then this one has water. So it's got uh, half a cup of water. We are putting a lot of solid ingredients in this one, so we're going to add water to make it more like a dressing. And that is it. So I will put this into the base, and here we go. It looks completely liquefied. Just checking the time. 12.20. Pretty good for making pork salad dressings. I want to see what this tastes like. All my spoons have mustard or strawberries on them. Let's see. 
Rinse one off. Oh, I can see why people, you can see why people love that dressing. Um, so all of these dressings, if you'll notice, have some sweet element and then some acid element, either vinegar or lemon juice. And then the sweetness is agave or raisins. Um, the first one we made, it didn't have a sweet element. Um, it had the creaminess from the avocado, which kind of was the base for it. Um, but you can always experiment with salad dressings. Um, so let me go ahead. I want to put a little bit of this on my salad. And I am going to taste it. And then we never did taste the mustard one. So I want to make sure I taste that on my salad too. Mm. This one's a keeper. Hmm. You know, they have so much flavor. Hmm. I could just keep going. So what I'm going to do uh, next with my salads is I'm going to put it on one bowl. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add some things. So I add some chickpeas. Um, I have some seitan I made a couple days ago. Put a little bit of, cut that up and put that in there. Um, I have a little brown rice I'll add. So I do like to make my salad meal in the middle of the day um, substantial enough. It's a hearty salad. I might have some crackers. <laughs> Talking with my mouthful. I might have some uh, crackers and peanut butter to go along with it. So it'll be a big meal. It'll be a healthy meal. It'll be a no oil meal. Now I have salad dressings that are going to last me for a couple of weeks and they will keep quite a while. Um, they, they have the acid element, which kind of inhibits uh, spoilage, which is always good. Um, so I'm going to, if I can, honest to gosh, I can't find my mouse so I can end. And the Facebook Live. There it is. <laughs> uh, so thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, I have other Facebook Lives that are on my Facebook page. They're all archived under videos, other things that I make. I'm here Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And I hope to see you next time. Um, I'm going to end, end the broadcast. Have a great day and enjoy, enjoy some salad today.